Today I'm going to share with you some marketing tips for Facebook because they've recently had a few changes. So um, I'm adjusting my strategy on Facebook and I just wanted to share it with you. So let's get started. Now if you haven't liked my page on Facebook, feel free to. But um, I do want to start off with a disclaimer and let you know I'm not a Facebook marketing guru but what I did is I uh, I listened to the online Ma marketing made easy podcast with Amy Porterfield and she had a great podcast episode that went over these new tips based on some of Facebook's recent changes so this whole thing is based off of her work and she is really good on Facebook with marketing advertising and stuff like that so I'm gonna be implementing some of the things that she said and you may want to implement them too so um, I I will leave a link in the description below to my blog post because I've already made the blog post and in the post I have a link to Amy's podcast and even this particular episode and if you are an online marketer I highly recommend checking out her podcast it's really beneficial it doesn't cost you anything I've learned a lot through her and it's just a really good podcast to listen to and while you're at it listen to my podcast too, the awareness revolution just type it in on um, on iTunes or if you go to the awareness revolution.com slash iTunes it'll take you right there so let's get started um, so things are always changing on Facebook so what used to work well might not work well today because Facebook is it's just skyrocketed in popularity there's so many people on there so there's so many people marketing on there too so one of the big things that's happened is um, it's not about your Facebook fan page anymore. So instead of focusing on building likes for your fan page, it's a much better idea to start a group and build your Facebook tribe within your own group. The reason is with your fan page, you have to pay to get most of your people to see your post. So mine, I have like right now I have 825 likes. But if I share something, maybe only 25 or 35 people will see it. And if you want everyone else to see it, they want you to boost the post, which means pay them some money. And I don't want to pay Facebook any more money than I have to. So here's three big ways that Facebook has changed recently and the first one is they're running out of places to put their ads and content because there's just so many people advertising so many people posting you know we can only look at so much content in a day so it's really getting flooded the second change is that they're focused more on the fan not on the marketer they want to provide a good user experience for the fans not necessarily for you we're gonna get in more detail on all this stuff here in just a second the third one is the initial engagement from your audience determines the reach of your post what that means is when you share something if a bunch of people like and comment on it then Facebook you know they they see that and they're like well people like this so then they put that out to more of your fans if they put it out to some people and no one's engaging with the content then they might just put it on the back burner and just forget about it because again they have to selectively choose what content they put in front of its users and they want to put the best content first so if no one's engaging with your post why would they show it to the world so it's important to get your um, audience to engage with your post immediately after you share it on Facebook so with these three changes in mind Amy has created some new rules for Facebook marketing 
So she has five new rules of Facebook marketing. And they are, number one, less posts, more quality. And we're gonna get into more detail on each one of these, but let me just run through all five of them first. Number two, focus more on growing your community, less on fans. Three, advertise more. Four, more videos, more consistently. Number five, micro moments. Your audience is experiencing your content in micro moments. All right, so let's start off with the first one. Post less on Facebook, but create higher quality posts. Again, because our news feeds on Facebook are getting so overloaded with content, it's important to create high quality content if we want it to be seen. So what that means is instead of posting two or three times a day and these two or three posts being low quality posts, she recommends instead posting one quality post. So for example, instead of posting two or three static images, post one animated image. Right, and again, you want to grow your community on Facebook and the Facebook groups because your fans that like your page, you have to pay for your post to be visible to most of them. Whereas in the groups, you don't. And it just creates a, a different kind of atmosphere. You know, people can share stuff in private if it's a closed group. And, you know, they can interact with other members of the group. You know, so it builds a sense of a community. So, um, I actually just started um, a Facebook group, and I haven't even did anything with it. But this is a new goal of mine. I want to build a group. I see this is what what needs to be done, even though there's a million things I'm working on. And I don't like Facebook. I'm already on there too much as it is. But hey, you know. So if you want to check out our group, go to. Facebook and type in the awareness revolution look for the group you can go to the page you can find the group from the page so yeah try that out all right and um, the next one is advertise more on Facebook yeah I don't like throwing money at Facebook I've only did it uh, one very very small campaign for the awareness revolution um, but I have advertised in the past for my DJ business but you know, I, I do intend to advertise more uh, once I create a course. I'll have a webinar to promote it, and then I'll advertise the webinar. Right now, I don't have any high-ticket items to sell or products and services. So, um, you know, right now I'm just putting out content, trying to build a fan base. Um, which, by the way, if you like this content and, and you think it's good, please give it the thumbs up because that will help the um, YouTube know that this is good content and um, it, it'll help encourage me to keep doing helpful videos because I can't be doing anything with my time. I can be making videos about anything or I can just quit and do something else. So please give me the thumbs up and um, I appreciate that. Um, so AB recommends becoming a student of target marketing um, plus Facebook's Pixel Feature is a new great tool that you should definitely check out. She's ha She has a podcast episode explaining Facebook's Pixel Feature. And that is linked to right here in my um, post on my website, which again is in the description below. Create more Facebook videos consistently. It's estimated that 80% of internet traffic will be videos by 2019. YouTube's already the second largest search engine and it's just video. So video's already big on the internet, but it's still gaining momentum. Luckily, video production has never been easier. So here's four ways to create video for Facebook. Number one, you can just create a short video using Animoto or Adobe Spark Video. Number two, Animated graphics. You can use Ripple and, and or Adobe Spark Video. You can create GIFs and you can use Facebook Live. You can do Facebook Live with your phone, with your cell phone, and um, you know, with a device. Um, you can even connect a professional camcorder that has an HDMI out 
and you can do Facebook Live on that. I have a way of showing you how to do that. I'll actually link to that in the description below to post to show you how to get the software program for free and explains that in a little bit more detail. Actually, much more detail. So, um, yeah, you know, Facebook is really pushing their videos. They, they see that video is the future. They're wanting to compete with YouTube. So, you know, if you post a static image, they might show, like, you know, out of the 825 likes I have right now, they might show 35. I'm just, just th making up numbers here. They might show 35 of my fans my static image. But if I share a video, they might show 70 people or 150 people. So they'll show more people the video because they're pushing the video content. So if you want to um, use Facebook's algorithm to your advantage, then do video. And also, Facebook is really pushing their live videos as well. So, um, do some Facebook Live videos, you know, interact with your audience. Um, so here's a few tips for Facebook Live. Pre-schedule your live feed, you can pre-schedule your Facebook Live video. Another one is to inform your email list and tell them in advance when you're going live. Tease your other social media channels and let them know when you'll be going live. Take a small snippet of your live video and post and um, post it to promote your video after you're done. I've only done a few live videos on Facebook, but um, there's a podcast of eight tips for Facebook Live, and it's helpful if you're just starting out. And at the bottom of this page. I have a link to that uh, to that podcast episode to help you out, give you tips on Facebook Live. I hope you got a lot from this. I hope you take the initiative and start creating videos, start creating some gifts, start um, a Facebook group. You know, these are the things that I'm going to be doing moving into the future. You know, is there anything else that you would? like to add you know is there something else that maybe you think would be useful for facebook marketing if so leave a comment below again hit that thumbs up button for me i really appreciate that and subscribe to my channel i've got lots of great videos coming soon and if you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like for me to do leave a comment below and let me know what kind of video you'd like thanks so much for watching